What up, Soul Tribe? I'm back. Let's do a different kind of psychic development practice. Normally I do the intuition exercises where I'm holding like a crystal or something in my hand and you guys try to tap in to feel what it is that's in my hand. Um, or I'm thinking of a number in my head and or a color and I'm asking you guys to tap in to see if you can hear me. Well, this time I want to teach you how to use your clairvoyance because you are divine and you have this ability to be clairvoyant. We all do. You just don't, you don't practice. I'm going to teach you an example. And then as you practice this little exercise I'm going to give you, you will, you'll eventually get better at this and you'll be able to use your divine gift to see clairvoyance is, is clear seeing. It's clairvoyance, clear seeing. So for instance, when I'm channeling, um, a lot of the times when I'm channel, well, I, I utilize all my clairs actually, but, um, when I'm channeling, I can see, I can feel, I could hear. So when I'm using my gift of clairvoyance, I'm able to see what, what my divine spiritual team is showing me, or if I'm channeling for you, usually they filter through my divine, um, spiritual guides, but sometimes my guides step aside and I can channel through your divine spirit guides and your guides will show me specific, specific, specific stuff. And when I channel, they show, they, they like show me pictures. They'll show me like, if they're trying to tell me a story or something, they usually use, they'll show me an apple. They'll show me pictures, quick pictures and everything comes by so fast, so fast, so fast. And I just pick it up energetically so fast. It, it takes practice, but I've been doing it my whole life and didn't realize I was doing it my whole life until I became consciously aware that I was doing it. Sometimes when I'm channeling, spirit will show me a lot of different things. And I'm doing this because this is how it comes across in my mind's eye is they'll show me like little flicks, like little pictures, and they'll go by really, really fast. It'd be like strips of different pictures of different symbols or different actions. And because I use all my clairs, sometimes I'll see something and then I'll, I'll have an emotion of that. Sometimes I can taste it or I can feel it. Um, sometimes when I'm channeling, I can, I can see the picture and I'll also hear something like I'll hear a woman's voice or I'll hear a word come through or I'll hear a sentence come through. And because I utilize all of my clairs, it all comes together in a whole and it just, boom. For me, it, I just get it like that. But if you're learning to do this for the first time, it's going to take some practice. But we are all divine. We all have the ability to hear, feel, see, know. I have clear knowing too. You just need to learn how to use these clairs. You need to learn how to turn these clairs on. And that's basically the reason why I do these intuition exercises because I'm teaching you how to tap in to trust yourself, your higher self, that feeling that you get when your higher self is trying to keep you safe or tell you something or give you a feeling. Your higher self is your future you and your future you is always trying to lead you the right way in life, but we have free will, so it can't really, um, interfere too much, but your higher self is always trying to guide you and your higher self is never going to mislead you because your higher self is your future. You and your future. You is never going to steer you down the wrong path. Your future. You is always going to co come in and, and try to nudge you onto the right path or give you a message or keep you safe. And, and it, your future, you, your higher self is always trying to communicate with you. So let's do this really quick exercise and then I have to go. I have an appointment to, to run into. To practice clairvoyance, clear seeing, I want you, I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to name something and I want you to close your eyes and I want you to picture it in your mind. Close your eyes. Red apple. Red apple. I want you to envision a red apple. I want you to see the stem 
I want you to see the leaf, the green leaf coming out of the green stem, out of the red apple. Now I want you to take your hand, your left hand, and I want you to pick up the red apple. I want you to pick up the red apple. I want you to look at it. I want you to analyze it. I want you to smell it. Do you smell it? It smells so sweet. Now I want you to take a bite of it. Sink your teeth right into it. Into that juicy, crunchy red apple. What do you taste? Do you taste how sweet it is? How juicy it is? How delicious? It's so delicious. Now I want you to look at that red apple. Do you see your, your teeth mark in that red apple? Focus in and look at every little detail on that red apple. Look at the stem. Look at the leaf. Focus in. Do you see the little dots on your apple? The little green dots? Sometimes there's little brown dots. Does your apple have little green dots or any brown dots? Or is your red apple just shiny and red? How did that go for you guys? I mean, that was really simple. I was going to have you guys do a different exercise where I was going to have you walk through the house and do something. But I think starting off with the little red apple was fun because I, I literally just went and picked some apples. <laughs> and when I was talking about the little dots, do you see the little dots on the apple? Some of you guys are like, dots, what are you talking about? My, my apple has freckles, little yellow freckles, but the, the apple I just ate literally had little brown freckles. All right. I want to know how that exercise went for you guys. Was that fun? Did you, did you, were you able to see the apple in your mind's eye? If you are not familiar with clairvoyance, that may have been difficult. I had no idea that, um, sometimes Envisioning something in your mind's eye could be so difficult, especially if you're a person with an analytical mind. That is, I, I heard and I was told that it's much more challenging for a person that's analytical and they, they don't use the other side of their brain. So I need to know, were you able to see the red apple? Are you a person that likes to analyze stuff or are you a person that automatically sees things in your mind all the time. You are, you're not like one of those analytical people. Inquiring minds want to know. I need to know. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go to this appointment. Bye.